deserts, on the one hand, attract you with breathtaking landscapes and amazing creatures. But on the other hand, extreme weather conditions in the deserts and some of their inhabitants may make you worry about your own survival. If you're planning travelling in a desert, check out these nine tips from experts that will help you navigate the planned route without any risk to your health and perhaps even save your life. How to protect yourself from the heat Abnormally high temperatures cause the body to work too hard, increases water consumption, makes you sluggish, apathetic and can also cause sunstroke. Clothing that covers all parts of the body and an improvised umbrella made from a piece of cloth will help you to escape from the heat while moving. When you need to make a halt, use natural shelters. Up to burying yourself in the sand. If possible, dig a hole in the sand and cover it with a piece of cloth, stretching it on pegs or bushes. During the transitions, take 10 minute breaks every hour and rest in the shade. Avoid getting dehydrated. It is difficult to determine dehydration, yet it is possible. When you sweat only a little while walking, your skin is oily and dry at the same time. Your breath has a sharp, unpleasant smell. You constantly feel hungry. You feel very weak and dizzy. If you suspect being dehydrated, do the following. Sit in the shade. Take off or loosen your clothes. Drink some sports drink or lightly salted water about one teaspoon of salt per litre of water. Apply a wet cloth to your skin to cool faster. If you do not take urgent measures during dehydration, you can get a heat stroke, which is accompanied by muscle spasms and reddening of the skin in the absence of sweat. Ultimately, heat stroke can lead to organ damage and death. To avoid dehydration, take a few small sips of water every 20 minutes. If there is a constant source of water nearby, soak your hands and feet, the skin behind the ears, but it is better to wear a turban. In extreme cases, you can use your own urine for that. You can even drink it. Survival in the desert forces us to take such measures. When the air is too hot and dry, you should try to breathe only through your nose. The nasal passage and mucous membranes warm the moisture in the air, entering the lungs through the bronchi. If air is properly heated and humidified, bronchi will maintain the necessary balance and the immune system will remain unaffected. Do not take off all of your clothes to avoid dehydration. In the desert, it is very important to cover the body. Do not take your clothes off completely, even if you are very hot. Doing so not only helps to cause sunburn, but also accelerates the process of dehydration. How to find water in the desert? If it had recently rained in the desert, the water could remain under stones and in shady places. However, more often, you have to look for emerging groundwater sources. And this is how to do it. Follow the animal tracks leading down. Pay attention to birds circling over something and even flying insects. Look for green plants in the sand. Move along the canyons or up the dry riverbeds and pay attention to the indentations especially on the outside of the bend of the riverbed. Look for a solid rocky slope. The soil under it could drain the rainwater. Try to dig the earth there. Also try to collect dew. It's hard to believe, but with the slight humidity in the air, the temperature difference between night and day is enough for the appearance of dew. You can make a dew catcher operating on the principle of a solar condenser. You only need to have a piece of film or tarpaulin Here's how to do it. Dig a hole up to a metre deep. At 1 to 1.5 metres in diameter, place a bowl to collect water at the bottom of it. Right in the centre, cover the hole with a film and lay a stone in the centre so that it is directly above the vessel. As a result of condensation, water will appear in the vessel. Local flora is also suitable as a source of water. Cactus. Cut out the pulp and squeeze it, but do not eat its flesh and the fruits. Baobab. It is useful only in the rainy season. You have to make a hole in the trunk and put a container under it. Date palm. In order to get water from it, make an incision on the lower branch closer to the trunk. Place a container under the stream. Saxol. The bark of this plant absorbs water very well. Do the same thing here. Tree roots. Make cuts on them, then get the juice using a straw. 
what to eat in the desert. Food is not as important as water. You can safely do without it for several days, but given the harsh conditions of physical exertion, it is still necessary to find food in the desert. Of course, it is better to take some nutritious food that is not heavy and takes up little space with you. Good options are energy bars, pemmican, meat concentrate, jerky, and a mix of dried fruits and nuts. Make an experiment in advance to find out what suits you best. Also, take some products with salt and potassium with you. In the desert, your body loses these substances along with the sweat. This will help your body and avoid heat exhaustion and not to lose too much water. However, when dehydrated, excess salt can worsen your condition. At that moment, when you run out of the food you've taken with you, you'll have to start looking for it. But this is a desert, and the animals rarely meet it. In order to find them, you have to look for them near water sources. You can meet various rodents, jackals, lizards and snakes. You can search for sandy snails between stones, gorges and under bushes. But be careful, these are also the favourite places of snakes and scorpions. As with water, you can use representatives of the flora that are suitable for food. Agave. If you cook the buds and flowers, you can eat them. Abal. Looks like a whisk. In spring, the flowers bloom on its branches, and they are edible. Amaranth is completely edible. Acacia. You can use pods, flowers, young leaves for food. They can be cooked, but you can chew them raw. Wild pumpkin. The leaves and seeds can be roasted. The flowers are edible raw. If you are really thirsty, you can eat the stems and shoots. Baobab. You can make soup from the leaves and eat the fruit raw. In the daytime, you should wear sunglasses. Bright sunlight can weaken your eyesight and cause severe headaches. You must protect your eyes with sunglasses so that your vision is not affected. In the afternoon, it's better to wear your clothes in which your body sweats less. Your body loses moisture mainly due to sweating. Try to cover as much of the skin as possible with loose, lightweight clothing. The fabric will absorb sweat, slow down its evaporation from the surface of the skin and thereby reduce the loss of moisture. That is why it's better to wear a t-shirt made of cotton rather than moisture-absorbing fabric. Put a light windbreaker on top. Clothing made of the light-coloured fabric reflects sunlight better than dark ones, but it slightly protects your body from UV rays. Therefore, try to find white clothes with a UV protection factor UPF, of 30 plus to protect your skin from the negative effects of ultraviolet rays. Also, you should wear a wide-brimmed hat, sunglasses and gloves. Take warm woolen clothes with you. In case of an unforeseen situation, the night can catch you in the desert on the way. At night, temperatures are often close to zero degrees in the desert. Beware of sandstorm. Even when the sun shines brightly and nothing portends trouble, you should be prepared for sudden sandstorms. Standing on the dais, you will notice even from afar. In this case, cover your face with dense fabric to prevent dust from getting into your lungs. Also. It is better to stay in one place during a sandstorm because of the low visibility there is a high risk of getting lost. Try to move at night. In the daytime, it is better not to carry out long transitions. It's better to find or create shelter for yourself and wait until the heat's off. In the cool night, you can go further and avoid the risk of getting heat stroke. When it is very hot, such a simple tactic Will allow you to save up to three litres of water per day. Sometimes it's worth staying in one place in the desert. If you have enough water and someone knows where you can be, it is better to stay in one place while waiting for help. This increases your chance of survival. When travelling in the desert, you get tired and run out of water much faster, unless you find somewhere as quickly as possible. If you have little water, you will have to look for it. Otherwise, it won't last even a couple of days. Follow these rules. Do not forget to listen to your intuition and common sense, and traveling the desert will leave only pleasant memories. Press like if you
found the video interesting. Be sure to share it with your friends, it may be useful for them too. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to be first to see the newest life hacks.